Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. So I thought today I'm going to show you guys uh, some of my leaf propagations. Um, now I usually prefer to do a leaf propagation on a mass level because it becomes much easy rather than having few uh, leaf propagations because they take a lot of time. So propagating them all together at once uh, becomes much easy. Uh, especially with watering and taking care of them so these were few because i've recently shifted here and i'm not very sure about how the monsoons are going to react with the leaf propagation because we do not want water to fall on the leaf propagation so i've done a very minimum amount of leaf propagation a few of them have already started to put out pups roots some of them have just been uh, introduced to the soil so it's going to take a while for them to uh, actually start growing but so far everything is going quite well so i've used these ice cream sticks uh, to identify them because it becomes much easy uh, right now i can still identify them because they are very few in number but as and when the numbers increase especially if you have mixed them it becomes very difficult to identify until they reach a decent size uh, but i wanted to use some sticks to identify so so that becomes much easy now for example over here I had some uh, mixed leaves now I don't even remember what were the leaves that I had added uh, these one I can uh, identify because these were moonstones they are uh, doing quite well uh, these were ghosty and I'm not very sure I think these most probably were Echeveria lisa so I'm not quite sure and that's why that's where the identification plays a very important role uh, this is my Echeveria love rain so I think there were only two leaves some of the leaves are very easy to identify but uh, most of them become very difficult to identify especially when uh, they are really small so so far these are all the collection uh, this is my uh, blue mist uh, they were added some time back I think only one and two of them have roots others are still pending uh, these are my ghosties if you remember uh, this was done on the 13th of Feb and you can see how beautiful they look only one leaf has dried up but rest of them are looking fantastic the color is looking amazing and uh, then I had few of these these are my Graptoveria Marpin uh, unfortunately the mother leaf uh, happened to dry much faster and the pups were very small but uh, it's okay very soon they will start to root so as of now they are in soil uh, you can see one of them has already put out root another one has also put out some roots so it's pretty much uh, doing well and uh, these are some of my uh, Agoides uh, polydonis but unfortunately I lost the mother plant and it was completely my mistake I took off the leaves and then I forgot the mother plant and I accidentally watered the mother plant the very next day the mother plant rotted but luckily I had some leaves that I had taken earlier and you can see all of them have rooted I'm just waiting for the pups to uh, come up uh, but uh, pretty much uh, it's doing absolutely fantastic all of them have rooted so I'm waiting for them uh, these are my Graptoveria titubans they are, have also started to put out pups so pretty much everyone is doing quite well if you remember this one uh, the Seduveria, I remember last video I had shown you that they only had roots. I had done the bottom watering because they had roots. But now you can see all of them have these beautiful bright red colored uh, pups. In fact all of them apart from this one, the rest all of them have pups and it looks uh, amazing. So that's all about it and these were some of my uh, Graptoveria lovely rose. Uh, I had made a video on it. Uh, they all have pups. Again there are some extra leaves in this which I'm not sure of which succulent it is. So this is why identifying them or adding a tag becomes really easy. Uh, these are my some Echeveria elegans on slow. Uh, only one of them have a pup but rest of them have not yet rooted so I'm just waiting for that to happen. So guys, I quickly wanted to show you guys all of my leaf propagation so far. Uh, I need to propagate few more. Uh, probably now because it's summers, I'm going to do more of Echeverias rather than the other varieties because uh, Graptoverias, Sedums, Graptopetalums and um, Pachoverias, Pachophytums all are going to go dormant. So it makes no sense of propagating them right now. Even though they will get propagated, but the growth rate is going to be very small. So I'm going to opt more for... Uh, Echeverias because they are in their growing period 
the pups will tend to grow a little faster. So guys, I hope that you like this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.